Hello, this is Brian Resney, president of Resney Wealth Management, bringing you an important update about the economy and the investment markets. Well, it's Friday, the end of the week, and it looks like the market's going to open up nicely again today. As I talked three weeks ago, I felt we were at the bottom uh, of the overall sell-off. Now, that's not a guarantee. But we looked at a lot of technical indicators we normally look at. We look at uh, panic-driven volume. We look at uh, oversold conditions. Uh, we look at valuation. And realistically, we look at uh, panicky sellers. And I will tell you, as a firm, 98% of our clients we really never heard from. They didn't panic at all, and they followed our update videos we had a few clients that did call or send us emails of concerns, but the vast majority of our clients allowed us to do our job, and I, I'll guarantee you those clients are extremely happy that they allowed us to do our job. Now, I realize volatility is always going to make people nervous. It's, it's the nature of the beast. But if you make rash uh, emotional deci decisions or panicky decisions on what you believe that may not factually be true, it's going to have dire consequences on a portfolio. We're going to stay steadfast in our management, in our daily research, and our strategy. If we need to really reduce risk because we are actually in an overheated economy, which clearly we're not now, or headed for a normal recession, which clearly we're in a recession now, but it's been driven based upon medical. So we're not making decisions because we're, we're already in the fray of bad. This is exactly the time you want to be invested because now you're picking up the bargains and you're looking for to come out the other side into the uh, uh, sunlight. And that's when you're going to have the next bull market emerge. Now, as I've talked before, of course, the first quarter is going to be somewhat bad GDP. Second quarter is going to look like a disaster. And then we're going to start ramping back up third and fourth quarter this year, regrowing the economy and the world. And as you've heard, the president officially made an announcement about restarting America. I think these are positives. I think state by state, of course, will make their own overall decision. But I would think within the next couple weeks, most states and most services, businesses overall will be back up and running. And I will say that probably the vast majority of consumers are going to go back to normal. Now, I know you're hearing a lot about the new normal. I don't believe in the new normal. Um, and what the new normal is supposed to be is people aren't going to go out anymore. That's ridiculous. I will say the vast majority of people are going to go out and do their normal things in a couple weeks. And maybe you're a little more cautious for the next month or two, but you'll go back to what you used to do three or four months ago. Now, as always, if you're elderly, if you have underlying health conditions, as they've talked repeatedly, then obviously you should be a little bit more cautious, but you've always should have been more cautious even in the past before the coronavirus. The big key is this, what's gonna happen in the future when the next virus comes around? My guess is we probably will not shut down the world again for the next virus, but generally speaking, I think part of the overall shutdown was so that we could really make sure our hospitals and medical um, uh, services were really well staffed and well supplied overall. Now we do own healthcare as a part of our position at Resney Wealth Management and we have for quite a while and of course it's one of our number one performing sectors year to date and we're actually looking at a little bit more to that uh, just going into the this election year. I firmly believe the economy is going to come rip roaring back as we get towards the end of the year and I firmly, firmly believe uh, the clients that allow us to do our job and allow to us to stay the course for you are going to be well rewarded the next couple years. I think the U.S. economy is going to do quite well. Areas of the world economy that are not going to do well that we're going to avoid. I firmly believe travel around the world is going to be dried up. Generally speaking, people are not going to travel outside the U.S. like they used to before this because you're going to be more nervous. But what I will say is those travel dollars are going to be spent here in the U.S. or the North American continent. And I'm going to include, obviously, Canada, Mexico, and I'm going to throw in the Caribbean islands. So I think travel in the U.S. money, meaning the U.S. dollars won't be spent overseas, they're going to be spent here. So our economy should, should recoup much quicker. I firmly believe the cruise lines were grossly overbuilt over the last decade. I firmly believe half the cruise lines, if not more, will go bankrupt. They will not exist. 
I think cruises in general are going to be lackluster going forward because a lot of people are going to remember this coronavirus and they're not going to want to be locked up in a ship for two or three weeks if there's some other kind of uh, medical scenario. So people, again, are going to travel more in the, in the North American continent and the Caribbean. I think those areas in general will do quite well. I think Europe as investment, not only for travel, but just as investment opportunities are, are may never come back as opportunities. I think a lot of the emerging market economies will suffer, but I think ultimately the U.S. is going to be stronger in two to three years, meaning a bigger economy, a stronger economy. Supply chains will come back to the U.S. or some of those over time. And I think a lot of not only businesses, but of course our politicians are realizing having huge dependencies for companies and our products overseas, whether it's China and other Asian economies or even in Europe, is a bad mistake. And so you're gonna see more of that come back. We're gonna need more workers. We need to fix our immigration problem in this country, meaning we need to have more legal immigrants on a rules-based system. I've talked about that before. But so what does this really mean? This means the U.S. will do exceptionally well and so will all of North America, in our opinion, and the Caribbean islands. I think Europe's going to be a cesspool of problems for decades, if not forever. I think a lot of the emerging market economies are going to suffer. I think China's GDP growth that they used to have is not going to be even near what they used to have. A lot of that growth is going to come back to the U.S. I think our GDP growth will be better. We are invested in the U.S. Uh, specifically right now, not only in our, in our allocation, not only the equity-based markets, but the bond market in addition. We are avoiding anything outside the U.S., and we may be avoiding that for a long time to come. We're still going to be looking and researching, and maybe there's some opportunities down the road, but right now we're in the U.S. As always, we appreciate your trust and your business. If you have any concerns, any questions, if we need to do a phone review instead of an in-office re review, that is fine. My staff is working diligently, working overtime essentially, research, research, research. We feel we're properly positioned. We will be making a few more subtle changes as we have them uh, when we see even additional opportunities. But call us if you have any questions or concerns. We want to make sure that you are well communicated to. And as always, we appreciate your business and referrals. So if you have family members, business associates, or neighbors that are unhappy with the services they're currently getting, refer them to Resident Wealth Management. It helps our business grow, and we really appreciate that quite a bit. Have a safe and profitable weekend.